Hi, my name is Steve Cavalaris with electricaltime.com. So behind me over here, if you can see that PVC conduit, the way it's all squiggly wiggly over there, that's actually a violation of the National Electrical Code. So let's go to our code book and let's go check it out. Okay, so here I got my code book on my car and we're going to be looking at this. 352.44 expansion fittings and it's got an A and it's got a B. Okay, so it's got thermal expansion and contraction, then it has earth movement, then it's got this pretty neat table in here. All right, well back to me and I'm going to go ahead and uh, summarize it for you. Okay, so we're looking at 352.44, it's called expansion fittings and A what it says thermal expansion and contraction it says expansion fittings for pvc conduit shall be provided to compensate for thermal expansion and contraction with the length change as per table 352.44a is expected to be a quarter inch or greater in a straight run between securely mounted items such as boxes cabinets elbows or other conduit terminations all right now if we look at the table and again go to your code book uh, in your NEC code book and if you could see that behind me you see it's really like squiggly wiggly over there and that's because when it was installed when it gets hot that PVC conduit's going to expand and it's got nowhere else to go so it's going to get all kind of squiggly wiggly over there then when it gets cold it contracts so if that PVC conduit behind me is expected to expand or contract a quarter inch or more we're required to put an expansion fitting so if we go into our table and I have my table right here and it says if there's a temperature change of let's say a hundred degrees Fahrenheit and what that says is that that PVC that section of PVC, let's say it's 100 feet long and it's going to change at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say from zero degrees in the winter to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summertime. Then what's going to happen is that PVC conduit is going to change in length by 4.06 inches. All right. So when you do all that kind of crazy math and everything else, Basically, what it comes out to be, I think it's about a little bit over six feet. I think it might be 6.2 feet, all right? So if I have a piece of PVC, like what you have behind me here, and let's say that piece of PVC is gonna have um, an expected temperature change of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's in between two fixed boxes, right and as that PVC wants to expand and contract you need to give it a way to do that so obviously whoever did that installation they didn't do that because we could see the one box over there the one box over there and there's no expansion or contraction fitting also check this out go to my website electricaltime.com and you can get free NEC code questions and answers on the National Electrical Code. All right, see you on the next video. Bye.